Powering your job search with the cloud talent solution Job Search API lets you start getting quality results immediately. However, there are plenty of ways to tweak search requests to match any business needs. Let's look at some configuration parameters you can apply and test when making a search request. To make the biggest impact on the number and relevance of jobs returned when someone does a search, let's look at two parameters you can configure when making this API search request. Enable broadening and disable keyword match. Enable broadening does exactly what it sounds like. It broadens the search results that get returned. It does this by relaxing the restrictions on location and job categories. This is a binary property for the search, so it's either true or false, and defaults to false if you don't set it yourself. Setting it to true will give more results to a search query, but may start to return extended results that aren't an exact match for what the user searched for. Don't worry, the most relevant jobs will still appear first. The next property is Disable Keyword Match, which is another binary property that tells the search request to return additional jobs through keyword matching. When set to false, additional job matches that aren't deemed relevant by the ML algorithm but do match the search query string get returned. Just like with Enable Broadening, Disable Keyword Match defaults to false, and any additional results will appear lower than those most relevant. Let's look at what happens when you use Enable Broadening and Disable Keyword Match together. This quick table gives a general idea of what users will see in a search result based on these parameters. Again, the most relevant search results are always returned first. Without changing anything, a default search request has Enable Broadening and Disable Keyword Match set to false. This leads to the most relevant jobs being followed by any jobs that match the keyword search. If you change Disable Keyword Match to be true, but leave Enable Broadening as false, your research results will include only machine learning recommended results, since keyword matching and broadening have both been turned off. This means only the most relevant jobs are displayed, but it's also the configuration with the fewest number of jobs returned. Now, if you flip these and have Enable Broadening set to true and Disable Keyword Match set to false, you'll get the maximum number of jobs returned for a search. The most relevant jobs will be followed by Keyword Matched and Expanded Query jobs. Finally, if both Disable Keyword Match and Enable Broadening are set to true, search queries will return the most relevant jobs followed by only the expanded query results. So you can see how these two properties can be used to influence jobs that get returned from a search query. There's no right or wrong configuration. It just depends on what makes the most sense for your business case. We recommend trying a few different configurations to see which works best for you and your users. Now that we've covered those two parameters, let's look at two more options you can use to further refine the jobs that show up in your users' searches. We'll look at featured jobs and custom ranking in the next video. Thanks for watching, and remember, when looking for talent, it's okay to keep your head in the cloud.